Well, I, I assume you all look, know what I think of Senior Night, so um, I'm just glad to get it over with. Uh, there's just a lot of emotion on this night, and I do think these seniors in particular have really, they really feel an attachment to our fan base, and I, I think there was a little extra nerves tonight. There's a little extra emotion tonight, so just really happy that they finished it really well and and that everybody was pretty successful and and uh and we we ended this thing the right way with a with a good victory and and uh you know people hitting their stride at the end so uh cassie just what you said you you mentioned you know a, a athlete connected with the fans and she's definitely i mean you know she puts swags the swag surfing sound in her uh floor routine and everything <laughs> so for her to finish and it seemed pretty picture perfect for her um, what do you, and what went into that for her today? Like what, how did it happen today for her? It, it appeared picture perfect, but it wasn't, sure. you know, it's, uh, she, there was a lot of struggle today and I, I just feel like that's, I could, this was the first day this year that I could see that, that she was nervous, like, like more nervous than normal. So, um, I just feel like that's when you have to rely on your preparation and, and, you know, she's. She she started having fun halfway through that thing and and uh, and settled down. The good thing is is that she's such a hard worker and so focused and and so driven that uh, her bad nights don't appear bad to everybody else. But um, but you know it's a, th this was a good tough night for her. this will this will help her get better. Do, yeah. Do you point to it as far as like you know you're gonna be in postseason and someone's gonna be nervous there. You got a whole team full of kids, right? So, so do you point to it and say you know even though. Your nervous is, you know, if your preparation is right, you can still get through it. It's, well, it's a learning experience, right? Yeah, we, I mean, I we were going to floor and we needed to beat Missouri by two tenths uh, uh, on floor. So putting up a forty nine five seven five is a pretty good <laughs> reaction. Uh, if you can do that, uh, then in the postseason, then you're in really good shape. So I, I actually was very. The result is that we were under pressure all night. We trailed all night until the end. Um, I think that's fantastic, and I think that really shows what kind of a team this is. Um, and I think it's a tough night to do that. And I, I mean, it, it's it's a difficult night. I mean, we're not even in March, and we're in senior night, and we're having all this emotion and stuff like that. So um, I'm just I'm just really proud of the fact that they were able to get this thing behind them and actually, you know, come out really with a pretty darn good score. You talked earlier in the season about wanting to use January to sort of experiment, become predictable in, in February. And now you head to March and you're on the road for the foreseeable future. Um, can you, I guess, a, a big picture of, of where you are as the, as, you move, as the calendar moves to March? Really good. I mean, we're in a really good spot. We, we've got to clean up some things. Um, I do think sometimes it's easier to clean them up on the road. We'll see. Um, we've got some tough places to go. But uh, the good thing about it is, to, to, I think the struggle with having so many home meets early is that it's hard to actually know what team you are because you, you're only in one environment mainly. And um, the good thing is, is I think we figured out who we are in, in the last couple of home meets. And now we get to go on the road, and, and there is a benefit to that. Uh, those scores are, are gold in, in our sport. Getting good road scores is going to help us a lot. So... Um, everything's in front of this team and we're, we're fully capable of of as far as we want to go we can we can be a final four team if we want but we've got to we've got to put it together and we've got to put it together outside of Neville Arena you heard me ask them what what does it say about this team or or maybe when I when I talk about finish they always finish strong whether it's beam or it seems like it doesn't matter what event it is um but what does that say about them and and I, do you see a opportunity you need to start better you know what what does it say about the team about where you guys are with that I, I mean this I don't think you can teach this stuff that this this is a culture thing that they have amongst themselves that they just don't give up they just keep pushing harder and harder I do think you can help them start faster we've we've been off and on successful with that uh, we've got to get better at that as we go on the road but um but I mean, they have the intangible that you can't teach. That th this team is a fighting team. So I love that. I mean, it gives everybody a lot of confidence going into the postseason. I think you heard that from them. They they have a lot of confidence in each other, and that's really what. When you talk about what the month of January was, was try to figure out who we are a little bit, and the month of February is supposed to 
hey, now we're going to solidify what we're doing. Everybody's going to start trusting each other. Everybody's going to get predictable. And I think we're there now. So I'm, I'm, ha- I'm excited about where we're going. Yeah, so head-to-head in the regular season doesn't matter, but in the postseason it does. And is that – I mean, do you think that's – the seniors on the team, their kind of understanding of how this whole thing works, or you know, I, where I think, do you think this comes from? Yeah, I think I think the fact that you have a lot of people on the team who've been through some postseason runs and understand that, yeah, you want you you want the good scores during the regular season for a ranking thing, but the but the nuts and bolts of this sport are get in a tough situation and persevere and and beat the team next to you. If you can do that, if you can start figuring out how to do that as a as a group, as a 10, 11, 12, 15, however many are on the floor that night, if you can rely on each other that way, you can make a really good, long, deep season push. So um, I, I think that is the upperclassmen saying, you know, this is, I, I think they rose to the occasion going to floor. You know, I think they looked at it and go, all right, you can't hide the fact that we're behind going to floor. I love that. And let's go see. Let's go push this thing. And somebody's got to you – know, every team has to go to beam. So <laughs> glad it was behind us. 